most intelligent managers probably know, there is a set of certain skills that each employee has to possess. What are they and how do they intersect in managerial levels? Today, we will analyze how these skills work in a real company and whether the situation is different from what we have learned from the books. We are now in front of the headquarter of one of the most influential corporations in Korea, LG Chemical. So, my colleagues will show you in details what we have found through interviews in LG Chem with XCO and HR manager. And now, I hand it over to my first reporter, Anastasia Dvorash. Anastasia? Alexandra, now we are in the head office of LG Chemical Corporation located in Seoul, South Korea. LG is the largest Korean chemical corporation and is headquartered in Seoul, South Korea. has around 200,000 employees worldwide and sales of $17 billion. It has eight domestic factories and direct marketing branches established around the world including America, China, Russia, Germany, Poland, Switzerland, India, Indonesia, Japan, Singapore, and Brazil. The uh, company merged with LG Petrochemical Corporation in 2007. LG Chemical is an integrated South Korea Chemical Corporation that manufactures a wide range of products from petrochemicals to high-value added plastics and high-performance industrial materials. LG will be focusing on boosting the competitiveness of its major businesses, securing future growth, pursuing R&D, upgrading customer satisfaction and transforming the way it does its business. Its businesses cover three major areas – chemicals and polymers, industrial materials, information and electronic materials. LG Chemical is, uh, the, is doing really well and it's, one, it's, the, uh, it's, it's, doing, it's the best company in the, in the, in the industry and, and this, really, this is uh, contributed by uh, employees but also top managers as well. So, what really differentiate uh, LG Chemical managers from other from ma managers mm. from other companies? How yes. yeah. the LG has um, two kind of management philosophy, two kind of basic <coughs> management philosophy. Number one is value creation for our customer satisfaction. That is number one. Number two is management respecting people. So, uh, the management should consider uh, the, their employees and other stakeholders. That is basic two principle of LG, LG Group. So, uh, and third, uh, we emphasize also ethics, business ethics is very, very important. Somebody uh, I mean, got uh, uh, get some money from the, the customer or supplier, then they were immediately fired. In our class, management class, we were taught that there are three important managerial skills that managers should have. The first one is a uh, technical, I mean, conceptual skill. The second one is a uh, technical skills, and the last one is human skills. And in the classroom, and the professor ta taught us that uh, human skills is the most important uh, skills that managers should attain in order to control the company very well. So I would like to ask: uh, Do you agree with? his opinion and if you don't I would like to ask you why and I would like to also hear your opinion about how human skills are important. Which skills is most important? It, uh, it depends on the management level. Okay. So, supervisor level, technical skill is more, more, much more important. Executive level, conceptual much more important. Okay. This is Katz model. Katz model. Katz is a professor of Northeastern yes. University in Boston. First of all, let me show you the cash model of managerial skill. 
It includes three levels of manager, which is top manager, middle manager, and low level manager. As we can see from the chart, the conceptual skill and technical skill is very from other level, but human skill is stay the same for three levels. Human skill are also called interpersonal skill, which is the ability to work well with people in the organization as individual or as a team. And the manager have to communicate, evaluate, motivate, lead, and inspire enthusiasm and trust among people in the organization. And after a talk with the former CEO of LG Chemical and the HR manager of LG Chemical, we found that the human skills are also important in the reality, but the wish can be different from other level of manager. And in LG Chemical, the manager performance has to be based on the core value, the core principle of uh, management, which is respecting human dignity. And to achieve that, LG Chemical has to follow four steps, which is the first one is pupil center, and they can do it by finding the talent among pupils. Uh, through the recruitment, like they have to find the human skill in person in each candidate uh, through the personality interview and the final interview. And also the second step is develop and apply capability to maximize, which is in LG Chemical they have a development system and different training program to develop each one talent. The third one is rewarding, which is according to HR manager LG Chemical, they motivate people by salary and incentives. So finally is uh, evaluating and applying the creativity to the work. And all of this step, the LG Chemical have to follow to achieve respecting human dignity. As we know that the conceptual skill refers to the manager's ability of taking everything into consideration and in the face of complex and volatile environment, grasping the nature of problem, forming correct concept, and thus making correct decisions. A manager with conceptual skill would take his own organization as an integrated whole and be able to become familiar with the relationship between the various groups and, and correctly use, uh, use his own skills to deal with the problems in the organization. This ma manager with strong conceptual skill can recognize the existence of the problem in the organization, correctly analyze the problems appearing in the organization, and draw up correct solution to implement. From which we can see that as the range that the senior managers need to understand is much broader and they have to consider the comprehensive and long-term development strategies of the enterprise. So concept Conceptual skills of, ma of the managers is most important for the senior managers, followed by the intermediate managers. In reality, LG judge conceptual skills by pre presentation interview and final interview in the recruitment, and ha having mentoring for business leaders, developing program for global business leaders, HPI, and next generation. Next, let's see what did the LG manager say about these skills. After getting company, they can get a lot of development, uh, development program. Like, uh, yeah, I'll show you later. I'll show you further. This is LG Camp set a uh, talent development system, and it consists of two things. One is this one is uh, important than that. This one. Uh, one is busy leader development system and then the other is specialist, specialist development system um, yeah. it means when you uh, enter the company you can be developed in two ways one is business leader 
Yeah, there is paper is. So, uh, specialists to, uh, usually cons uh, in the area of R and D or very specific field like law or HR something like that. So in this field, uh, people don't have to change their jobs. They just can be the special. They can be specialized in their field, and then uh, after some years after the working, they can be a uh, very higher position, but they don't have to do managerial skill. They will just to do you know specific field their job. But uh, many people in the company uh, they can be developed in the in as a business business leader. They have to do many things, and they have to understand all the value. Uh, what can I say? Mm, all the values in the company. Uh, so they have to change their job, and then they have to ex uh, experience a lot of things in the company, and then they can uh, have the ability for determining where you know a kind of strategic thinking, something like that. This means uh, it relates to the uh, conceptual skill. Mm -hmm. All right. As we learn from the theory, technical skill is more important for frontline manager and become less important as their level increase. However, in LG Chemical Company, there's a difference. From team members to executive, technical skills still decrease in percent weight. However, according to human resource manager of LG Chemical, it still remains dominant in all the levels. From team members up to senior members, technical skills take about 70%. Team leaders obtain up to 60% of technical abilities. When managers become executives, their technical skills take 55%. So from all these skills that executives have, technical take half. Then we can see that theory and reality in this case are really not the same. There are two ways to develop your career when you get hired to work for LG Chemical Company. You can choose to be a business leader or to be a specialist. If you want to be a specialist, you need to develop strong technical skills within your fields besides human and conceptual skills. Okay, we learned three different managerial skills before and today we are we want to figure out what others other than these three skills, what other skills might also need it in people. And the second thing is since we are in algae chemical, we want to find out what algae chemical requires their employees and workers to have according to the HR presentation. Okay, first of all, according to the research we find out there's one skill that is really essential to all of the employees and managers that is time management skill as you can see from the line chart the first part is things are urgent and important and the second part is things are important but not urgent and the third part is things are urgent but not important and the last part is things are not important and not urgent. According to another theory, 80 and 20 theory, we want to suggest that you should put 80% of your time and energy into the second block, which is to put the things that are important but not urgent. Why? Because there are a lot of things that are important but not urgent. But people, especially the workers, just wait till the last minute to do it. So the things are important but not urgent finally becomes things are important and urgent. That is why we suggest you to put more energy into the second block which is things are important but not urgent to make your life and work more efficient. And there is another skills that is also needed in LG Chemical. Let's hear from the HR manager, Mr. Lee. This is this is a questionnaire for engineer. Uh, we if 
uh, define that the essential capability and um, we set some questionnaires for that. Um, for example, how many credit cards which each in the world will be and what is the reason? It's a kind of, uh, how can I say, the logical thinking? Is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, please try to predict your annual salary and job pos position after 10 years. It's kind of a uh, um, problem, what can I say? Uh, problem solution skills. Yeah, problem solving skills or uh, creativity or something like that. That kind of question. So we examined the set of managerial skills in LG Chemical Corporation. It turned out that first, apart from three main skills, there are some others, such as time management, executive or analytical skills, which are as important as human, technical and conceptual skills. Second, unlike many other companies, LG tests all the skills in recruiting process to put potential employees on the best suiting position. Finally, depending on which way you choose to become specialist in your area or business leader, different sets of skills are required. Also, in cases like LG Chemical, whatever position you take, technical skills still remain dominant. Thank you for watching. This was Economic News with Alexandra and Ace team. The next program will be weather forecast. See you soon. Tomorrow it will be a rainy day in Changsha.